Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Rainex, Hum by Verizon, State Farm, and WeatherTech. Volkswagen is a company that started out selling small cars. When we think Volkswagen, we think small. Maybe that's why VW's bigger cars have never done very well. Volkswagen realized that and decided it was time to get back to their roots. So they introduced the little Brazilian-made Fox last year. Volkswagen also realizes that people who own small cars get a big kick out of seeing just how much they can jam into one. So Volkswagen came up with this, the Fox Wagon. And it's the only wagon in its size class. But just because it's the only wagon in its class doesn't mean that prospective buyers have to settle for second best. The two-door Fox Wagon has all the good points of its sedan brother, the best bargain car in our annual driver's choice poll two years in a row. But the wagon has something more. That something is 33.4 cubic feet of luggage space that increases to a huge 61.8 feet when the rear seat is folded. This gives the Fox Wagon more usable cargo space than any other subcompact. The rear folding seat back does not split, but it does fold completely flat. But all that utility doesn't mean that the Fox Wagon looks like a utility vehicle. The sharply raked rear hatch keeps it from looking like other boxy wagons. And the large side windows for both the rear seat and cargo area are quite distinctive. But the Quantum Clone front end is still rather plain. Power comes from the same 1.8 liter four-cylinder found in the Fox sedan. This energetic little engine, which also powers the Golf and Jetta, puts out 81 horsepower and 91 pound-feet of torque. There's plenty of work room for economy-minded home mechanics, but the fluid reservoirs are poorly marked. But marked or not, the engine still pulled our Fox wagon through the quarter mile and 18.2 seconds at 75 miles per hour. Zero to 60 was a snappy 10.8 seconds. A full cargo load will slow things down a bit, but performance is still better than the norm for the subcompact class. As with the Fox sedan, handling is one of the wagon's strong points. It's crisp and precise with moderate front end plow. Body roll is substantial, but looks a lot worse than it feels. Confidence comes easily in this car, something you can't say about most wagons. Highway ride is smooth and comfortable, but wind noise contributes to no better than acceptable interior sound level of 70 decibels. Braking is accomplished by a front disc rear drum combination. This brought the Fox wagon down from 55 in a short average distance of only 104 feet. Stability is excellent with no premature lockup and a firm pedal that's easy to modulate. You won't find brakes like this on a Hyundai. The interior is typically German despite the Fox Wagon's Brazilian birthplace. It's properly Spartan with a few concessions to creature comforts. Unfortunately, the seats aren't one of them. The front buckets are hard with only the most basic adjustments. Most drivers found support adequate, but there could be more for the lower back. As we noted in our earlier Fox sedan test, the bottom end price tag also shows in the cheap dash plastic, and the pod mounted switches are flimsy and designed to confuse. But the real confusion comes when you look at the gauges. What is a tachometer on the four-door sedan turns out to be a large analog clock on the wagon. The fuel gauge is still tucked in at the bottom of the clock face and is hard to read at a glance. The center pod houses simple to use heat and ventilation controls and an optional cassette stereo of the high quality one expects in Volkswagens. But the stereo is tucked under a dash overhang, making it hard to read the program display. The Fox Wagon Shifter is the same four-speed manual unit found in other Foxes. Throws are short and crisp, and performance does not appear to suffer from the lack of a fifth gear. Rear seat entry is a bit tight, especially for tall people. But once they're back there, they find head and leg room quite adequate. The EPA rates the Fox Wagon's fuel mileage at 26 city, 30 highway. Our 100-mile mixed test loop returned only 26 miles per gallon. Our earlier sedan did better. The Fox Wagon's price starts at $6,990 and comes to a very reasonable $8,175 for our fully equipped test car. By comparison, a similarly equipped Hyundai Excel three-door hatchback costs less and gets better mileage, 
but can't come close to matching the Fox Wagon's performance or cargo space. In our safety check, the Fox Wagon passes with standard radial tires and 5 mile per hour bumpers, but it lacks front passive restraints, anti lock brakes, and rear shoulder belts. Our list of hits starts with the Fox Wagon's substantial cargo space. It's closely followed by the modest price, fine acceleration, precise handling, and superior brakes. Misses include the marginal front seats and crude interior materials. But despite its few deficiencies, our time with the Volkswagen Fox Wagon has proven it to be a solid, efficient little car that offers more driving fun than your average Econobox. It's a great first family car or second car, and few cars are better suited to the economy plus cargo hauling needs of college students. This is, after all, what Econoboxes do best, and the Fox Wagon does it best.